Hello, what's poppin'? <clears throat> we are on kick. We are not live. And when I say kick, I mean K-I-C-K dot com. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, right above me, this is where you can catch the live highlights. If they don't, if any video don't make it to YouTube, it'll be here. Um, I do move into my new place September 12th, so KICK.com is going to be bussing. I'm mm -hmm. talking five hour streams daily once again. Don't forget we do got merch. Got mine on. Appreciate everybody who caught theirs. All items have been delivered. Uh, don't forget we do got the Patreon Monday through Friday. Next Friday coming up. The Friday coming up. Top Boys present. Let's get into this, man. You huge UK manhunt for escaped prisoner. His name is Daniel Khalif. And apparently he escaped from Wandsworth Prison. One of the most highly secure prisons in the UK, right? And he's a known... What is he? A known terrorist. Okay. I'm, I'm wondering. I'm suspicious. How did this happen? Who was in cahoots with him? What guard? I don't know. Let's see. He's being called Britain's most wanted man, and police say there's now a nationwide manhunt for a 21-year-old former British soldier. 21? You gotta have a young mind, or you gotta either have a really young mind that's able to like accept stuff like a sponge and take like be very creative to escape. Or you got to be a seasoned vet at this escaping. Like, there's no in between. He escaped from Wandsworth Prison in London this morning. And he has training. He's an ex-military. Like, he's ex-military. Daniel Khalif was awaiting trial on terror charges. It's thought he managed to get out by clinging onto the bottom of a food van. Police believe that he poses a low risk to the public. But Y'all remember that movie? Or was that just an American movie where he clinged onto the bottom of a truck to get out? Remember that? People are being urged not to approach him and to call 999 instead. There have been alerts at ports and borders around the UK and delays at airports because of the increased security checks. Prisoner escapes are unusual. There have been just five since 2017. For the story of the day, here's our Home Affairs correspondent, Daniel Sanford. The austere facade of Wandsworth Prison tonight. The jail at the centre of one of the most embarrassing escapes since the 1990s. Hey, somebody's legitimately getting fired. The, what is it? The governor? You're gone. After a former soldier facing serious charges of threats to the state broke out by simply hitching a ride underneath a food delivery van. Like what happened? Like what happened to the security checkpoints? Like I know I watch movies and they take the mirror and look under there upon entry and exit. Like how did he is 21 year old Daniel Khalif, who is accused of a bomb hoax and of collecting information. What's his name? Khalif? This is Mia Khalifa's brother? Mation for a hostile state. Wait, what did he do? Who is accused of a bomb hoax and of collecting information for a hostile state. This morning, he was working in the kitchen at Wandsworth Prison when at 07.50, he escaped through the main gate by hanging onto the underside of a food delivery van. So imagine how strong this man's hands are. A nationwide manhunt began immediately, but at 15.30, counterterrorism detectives decided they needed to go public, appealing for help in tracking him down. He was, at the time of his escape, wearing red and white check trousers, a white T-shirt and brown boots. He's a six foot two um, male with, he's very slim build, but with dark brown hair. So uh, we, we just appeal to the public to look out for him and, and call us on 999 if, if there's uh, any sightings of him. Daniel Khalif joined the army in 2019 and in 2022, he be So he was 21, y'all said. He joined the army in 2019. That was four years ago. That makes him 17 he joined the army. Okay. Came the focus of a counter-terrorism investigation. He's accused of being involved in a bomb hoax on the 2nd of January this year, and on the 26th of January, he was arrested. The charges he faced include preparing an act of terrorism and collecting information useful to an enemy believed to be a hostile state. This is a very serious breach of security, and it throws up 
a number of, of questions. I mean, firstly... What y'all think? He was probably going to get a life sentence if he was... He knew he was going to get convicted, though. He knew he was getting something to want to escape. What was this man doing in Wandsworth Prison? Wandsworth is a Category B um, reception and resettlement prison, so it's not an obvious place. Oh, Wandsworth is a Cat B prison? For somebody who's been charged under terrorism offences, who uh, is a potential national security risk. Counterterrorism detect. I thought Wandsworth was... Man, it's been a minute since I watched that documentary. I thought it was more um, secure. I thought it was Cat A. Detectives here at Scotland Yard are keen to stress that they don't believe that Daniel Khalif poses a particular threat to the public. The charges he faced didn't relate to something like a knife attack or a bomb attack, but they are advising people that if they see Khalif... It was a bomb hoax and giving information to a an op, an op state. It was still a bomb hoax. So, I don't know what this guy's talking about. They shouldn't approach him, <clears throat> rather they should dial 999. Nonetheless, the public were affected by the all ports and airports alert, which led to extra checks. This in turn led to huge queues building up at airports, Yikes. including Stansted, Gatwick, Heathrow, Manchester. Everybody missed a flight. In Glasgow. Wandsworth was at the centre of one of the most famous prison breakouts when the great train robber Ronnie Biggs scaled the wall with a rope ladder in 1965 and started a new life in Rio de Janeiro. 1994 saw the last escape by inmates linked to terrorism when IRA members broke out of Whitemore yeah. prison. Oh, that was Whitemore, okay. The red and white checked trousers and white shirt that Khalif was wearing when he staged the embarrassing escape were one of the cook's uniforms at Wandsworth Prison. He must have been very distinctive when he embarrassing first for out who? before he managed to change clothes. Well, we'll speak to our political ed Prisoners up 100 points with this one. <coughs> ...in Westminster in just a moment, but first Daniel Sanford is at Scotland Yard for us. And just bring us up to date with the latest, Daniel. Well, there are no signs of any early breakthrough in this manhunt. And in fact, the immediate omens don't look that good either because the best chances of catching someone after an escape is in the early hours when they haven't been... He probably outside, you know, went to a chip shop with a, with a, with a, with a COVID mask on because it's easy to be incognito in 2023 and not, nobody even question you. He probably went in there, got a, you know, donair kebab, maybe chips and gravy. A Vimmo, a Vimto, a Vimto, what's it called? A Vimto or an Iron Brew. <laughs> Probably went under a bridge somewhere, pretended like he was living, living hard or whatever. He's chilling. Been able to travel very far. And I think the fact that uh, Scotland Yard decided to go public this afternoon and ask for the public's help suggests that any trails that they did have may have were gone. cold cold but the counterterrorism command have a good reputation of getting their man they can draw on enormous resources from their own network from other police forces from the border force and of course from the security service mi5 so they will remain optimistic that they'll catch him but of course there are two investigations going on at the moment there's the manhunt for the escaped prisoner there's also the prison service investigation into how it is that a man who was seen as possibly a threat to national security was able to take the most direct route out of a prison on a vehicle. I swear that he had help. Somebody was in on his side. Like, there ain't no way. I don't believe it. I feel like there's several checkpoints that missed him. Right. And you can be absolutely sure that vehicle search procedures are being tightened up as we speak. Mm. Tightening it after the fact. Chris, in Westminster, uh, just how awkward is this situation for the government then? Rita, I was talking to one senior figure here at Westminster tonight who described the life of a cabinet minister, saying you're only ever one day away from disaster. And the extraordinary moment came this morning for the Justice Secretary, Alex Chalk, when he was briefed on what had happened, that incredible sequence of events at Wandsworth Prison. What happened after that is an urgent call was set up between the minister and the prison governor and other senior prison service officials. Somebody's got to be the goat. Like, somebody's got to be the scapegoat. Somebody got fired. 
some bodies, multiple. Tonight, as Daniel mentioned, an investigation launched to try and work out what on earth happened and how it happened. Plus, why was this man being held in a category B prison rather than a high security category A prison? But we can all look in Hinesworth and be like, why, 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 shoulda, 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 but you didn't do it right. There's also on top of that some politics brewing. And now he's somewhere eating a chip, buddy, kicking it. Around all of this. So Labour are making the claim that the government has driven the criminal justice system into the ground, that there is a problem as far as recruiting within the criminal justice system is concerned. And the local MP, the local Labour MP for the part of South London where this prison is, has dredged up some statistics she got hold of six or seven months ago relating to a particular day at the tail end of last year and the rotor pattern for prison officers at Wandsworth Prison, suggesting that they were seriously understaffed, filling gaps in that rotor. The government saying tonight that that is... No surprise, the uh, UK prison is understaffed. Okay, all right, that's not, we're going to, I'm going to go through all of this. So this is Daniel Khalif, how he did he pull the escape off? Um, I'm just going to catch myself all the way up right now with this video. Forgot to turn off ad block. Okay. This the same truck? All right, hold on, hold on is the same make and model as the one Daniel Khalif used in his prison break. Here's what it looks like underneath. Khalif is believed to have climbed... Oh my God. He probably got in between here so his, he wasn't visible. Hung on using straps. Oh, you straps. Okay. Van salesman William Martins... Where do you get straps from? ...says it beggars belief. As you can see, there's lots of room under here, but the one he escaped in had a tail lift taking up all this space, so I can't see where he would have gone in between here. Behind the rear wheels, in between the fuel tank, you've got a bit of space here, but under the middle one, you've got the drive shaft, which is constantly spinning. Police now think Khalif may have held on for around a mile and a half. His journey started inside the prison walls. There are about a half dozen junctions or traffic... Yo, bro, like... I know this is a serious subject, but my man was iron warrior to get up out of here. Like, how? Where did he? Pick lights where the van might have stopped for any length of time. It's taken our crew. There's going to be a movie about this guy. Do y'all realize that somebody's going to make a movie about this? Three and a half minutes to get to the roundabout. It already is a movie, but they're going to do another movie now. Out. What Daniel Khalif has done in terms of strapping himself to the undercarriage of a lorry uh, and moving for 1.52 miles across London in rush hour is, you know, it's, it's an incredibly challenging feat to, to endure. It's very difficult to, to, to escape from a prison and then survive on the run for, for a period of time without any assistance from anybody. Whether he did have help has yet to be established, but with nearly three years of... Look like he got strong forearms. He was in jail. He had all the practice he needed in that moment. But. Of experience in the army, <coughs> this fugitive can more than help himself. That's what I'm saying. The yeah. British Army and the training of their uh, soldiers is second to none. Um, they learn how to be independent. They learn how to be flexible. They learn how to adapt. They learn how to be tenacious. Um, they learn. Bro had every attribute equipped to get up out of there once he was out how to take risk. It is also, no doubt, part of a soldier's mindset to do whatever it takes. It's down to the nation's police, border force, and possibly the public to stop him. It's crazy, man. It's like the second time. IRA and him, they both got training, both escaped at some point from UK prisons. All right, and this is... This is the escape route explained. You want to design your own clothing line, but don't know how. The Evans Group is here to help. Yo, I do not care about Okay. This terror suspect escaped from prison. Daniel Abeg Khalif was working a kitchen shift at Wandsworth Prison in South London when he escaped on a food delivery truck. It left at Wandsworth Prison. This is Wandsworth Prison? Cat B. Why? What's going on here? In South London, when he escaped on a food delivery truck. 
it triggered a nationwide manhunt. Here's what we know. There are two entries to the prison, the main gate and gate two, which is used for deliveries. The security protocol at both gates is the same. They enter through what's called a prison airlock. Right. Typically, this is what should happen when food deliveries arrive. The van comes in through the front gate. That's then secured while the vehicle is searched. Next, the door into- All right, I'm positive that happened. To the prison itself is opened and the vehicle is allowed through with a security escort. At this point, the truck drives to the kitchen area, which is here. Once the delivery is complete, the van heads back under the watch of multiple security cameras. It exits through the same airlock system. Ex so it comes in through the main entrance, leads to the main Experts entrance. have said the search at this point would be thorough, including using mirrors to check. Remember I said the mirror check? No one is on top, inside or underneath the vehicle. After these checks, the vehicle Bro, is allowed there to... there is no way whoever the guard was did not turn a blind eye to this. There's no way. If you're supposed to have done all of that, or maybe he Daniel knew that the security just be laxed, over-relaxed. They don't, they don't think that this could happen here because it's so rare. Leave the prison grounds. Police say the van in question left Wandsworth at 7.32. It's believed that Daniel Khalif clung to the underneath using strapping. It travelled through South London. Authorities were alerted at 8.15 that Khalif was missing. CCTV footage captured here shows it in transit in Putney. It was stopped by police shortly after at 8.30. He was already gone at that point. Seven. It How long do y'all think bro hold on? Was caught on camera by a passerby. There are still a lot of unknowns as to how Daniel Khalif managed to evade the prison security measures. Prison watchdogs have issued serious warnings about the... I don't think it's that much of a... of a case. Somebody was in on it. I know he's, everybody's innocent until proven guilty. You gotta prove it, but ain't no way. ...the institution over the past year, citing poor conditions, lack of staff, and inadequate training as major... Inadequate training and understaffed. That goes hand in hand with HMPs in the UK. That's the story that I be, all the documentaries I be watching, every one of them, understaffed, understaffed, lack of training. Issues. An independent investigation will now take place into the incident, where failures in security procedures and the possibility of collusion are likely to be explored. Yeah, definitely. Both of those were an issue. We may not know the full picture of- Anyway. And this is the last one. Supposedly he was arrested? Are you interested in starting your own face? Where did he catch the man? This is from three hours ago. Bringing some breaking news just coming into us from the Metropolitan Police who have confirmed in the past few minutes that they have arrested a terror suspect who escaped from Wandsworth Prison on Wednesday. All the details we have from the Metropolitan Police are that he has been arrested just after 11 o'clock this morning. They did release a statement earlier on this morning saying that they believed he was in the West London Chiswick area. They have now said on their website they apprehended him just after 11 o'clock today, Saturday morning, in the Chiswick area, and that Daniel Khalif is currently in police custody. They are thanking the public and the media for their support throughout their investigation to locate him, and they say they will provide a further update on his arrest. Well, just to remind you, Daniel Khalif escaped from Wandsworth Prison, prison in South London on Wednesday by clinging on to the underside of... Okay, tell us... What happened? A delivery vehicle. And initially, police said they had no idea where he was and that they thought he may possibly have left the country, um, but they did continue focusing their efforts on searching the West and South London areas. And then earlier on today, the Met Police confirmed that they were focusing their efforts in and around the Chiswick area. This was after intelligence-led activity and some confirmed sightings in that area overnight, including, they said, calls from members of the public. They said that police were continuing to comb that area today, carrying out intensive search activity. They said that as far as what he looked like, what he was wearing, they believed that he was wearing a black baseball cap, a black t-shirt, a dark coloured bottoms, and also carrying a small bag or case. They urged the public to continue to 
look out for him and to contact 999 if they saw him, but they said, please do not approach him, even though we don't believe he is a threat to the wider public. And now, in the past few moments, the Metropolitan Police have confirmed they have arrested this man, 21-year-old Daniel Khalif, the ex-soldier who escaped from Wandsworth Prison on Wednesday. Uh, he escaped clinging... I feel like through all of this, the rest of this video, they're just going to do a recap of whatever we just watched. To the underside so of it. We know the main stuff. See? Truck use. Lots of questions being asked about how he many uh, investigations underway into what went wrong there. But the police, the underside of that vehicle. Not underside of the vehicle, the route. Daniel, can you hear me? I mean, sorry. Vehicle um, as it left the prison. Yeah, see, we have now they just recap it. All right. Well, at least he's caught. You know, at the end of the day, he still was up for terrorist type activities, so he needs to be in jail. They need to not put him back in that prison. He needs to go cat a, uh, uh, uh I forgot, Broadmoor or something. They put him somewhere where it's not happening again. Let me know what y'all thoughts and things are of, of how he got out. Me personally, I think somebody helped him. Or somebody turned their eye when they in that mirror and acted like they ain't see him. I could be wrong. That's just my guess. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post, and go.